Hiya folks, today's battle is short and sweet. Uh, it's a random Wi-Fi battle using my doubles team. Um, yeah, so... Japanese disconnectors are still there. Um, I really should try to figure out when it is that the you know, British uh, battlers start battling. You know, is it 3 p.m. GMT? Is it 5 p.m. GMT? Um, because that's when I want to be on random Wi-Fi, not with these uber-competitive Japanese players who disconnect on you. This was my third attempt um, to actually get a battle. And, uh, yeah, but I guess if you try long enough, eventually you'll get someone. Anyway, um, lead off with Musharna and Rotom. Gotta switch the Rotom because that Kabalion is no good news uh, for my Rotom. Tom, at least while Trick Room is not up yet. Um, anyway, uh, this is running a beat up Justified set, which I first saw on the Underdog Bros channel. So, Underdog Bros, you guys are apparently big in Japan. Um, you know, not that someone else can come up with it. But, um, yeah, so uh, this is only a 4v4 match, so uh, Kabalian's uh, attack is only boosted um, by, <laughs> what, 300%? Um, and. Yeah, even though Gallade resists the attack, it's an Oko. It's not even... It's not even close, I'm sure. Um, but luckily, he used close combat, so he's gotten the defense drop, and so I'm hoping that the next turn, I'll be able to uh, take it out with a super effective Earthquake um, from Steelix. So, Steelix is up, and it should be able to survive an attack uh, from Kabalian uh, if, it, if I don't want to KO it, thanks to... Um, whatchamacallit? Thanks to... Um, Sturdy, yeah. So Earthquake goes, and I'm really hoping that it kills, but it doesn't, and it leaves it with quite a bit left. Luckily, I decided Musharna can use Psychic to just polish it off, and that my strategy pays off, and Kabalion is down. Um, so next up for my opponent is Chandelure. Um, doesn't have an air balloon, uh, which I think, you know, if I was running Chandelure in doubles, I would always run an air balloon. But I think this guy's actually scarfed, um, as you're going to find out a little later. Uh, anyway, um, Psychic is enough to take out the rest of that Ambipom, uh, which unfortunately had faked me out, prevented my Steelix from attacking, and now that Overheat is going to easily KO my Steelix. Um, you know, super effective. Steelix doesn't have the best special defense, even though I invest heavily in my Steelix's special defense. Um, but more importantly, Chandelure has one of the best special attacks in the game. Uh, so anyway, now I go ahead and send out Rotom, um, and I'm gonna go ahead, and he sends out his last Pokemon, which is, um, his Whimsicott yet again. Whimsicott goes ahead and Leech Seeds me, not caring about the Trick Room at all. Um, I go ahead and Psychic that Chandelure, hoping to take it out. Do not, I don't do enough, um, and I don't get the defense drop, but I'm hoping that Discharge will be enough to polish it off. Um, I didn't want to go for Blizzard because it was resisted. Is not enough, and I get the Parahats, which is not good because Trick Room is still up. I've got, I think, one more turn of Trick Room after this. Anyway, Overheat, I'm thinking, oh jeez, say goodbye to Rotom. But Rotom survives with 7 HP, and I'm like, yes! That's awesome! Woo! It's because of the, I mean, uh, blah, blah, blah. what's that called? Um, Chandelure already got a, um, spec def drop times two, so now it's at minus four spec def, or spec attack, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, next turn I get seated. Um, amazingly, Musharna goes uh, first, which probably means that that uh, Chandelure was scarfed, because that's the only way at, um, you know, one-fourth speed it still out runs my um, Musharna. Anyway, um, Blizzard nails that um, that Whimsicott, and I have won the game. Uh, awesome little battle. Uh, I was really grateful that my opponent didn't disconnect. Uh, yep, so comment, rate, subscribe, and if you do doubles, please battle me, because I hate doing random Wi-Fi doubles. Alright, thanks, peace out.